familiar with Homestar? Okay, it's uh, passed the House of Representatives and is um, what some people call sitting in the graveyard it's called the Senate, where a lot of good bills go and die. Um, it's not going to happen before the elections, and who knows what will happen in the lame duck session after, um, after the elections. Um, what's interesting about it is that in the last week, a new bill has been introduced. It's bipartisan from uh, Bingman from New, new Mexico and uh, Senator Snow, from, a Republican from Maine. And they've introduced almost the same thing, but just as a tax credit. Tax credit bill up to $8,000 uh, requires an audit on the front end. Um, it gives a base incentive of $3,000 for homes built before 1940 that meet performance requirements by 20% improvement and $2,000 for homes built after 1940 as the base, and then, and then it ramps up um, based on the performance expectations. So if you have modeled energy savings of 45%, then you can get up to $8,000 tax credit in an older house. Um, I don't know where it, either of those are going to go, and it's kind of a crystal ball thing at this point. But um, we're trying to be in position to help serve that contractor infrastructure um, if this kind of legislation passes. I have a quick question mm -hmm. related to that. I've talked to many folks in the room <clears throat> at some point about it, is whether there's any mention of extending the existing tax credit for efficiency upgrades in homes that, that's out there now. <coughs> I actually don't have that in this presentation, but um, I'm actually going to um, the Adhesive New Zealand's Council's National conference this afternoon, I was reading up on that. Um, 25C, um, that same team, Bingham and Snow, introduced a second bill, um, National Home Energy Savings Act of 2010, something like that, that would extend 25C for another two years and increase the um, credit from $1,500 to $3,000. And it lays out some requirements for windows, for um, appliances, uh, for furnaces, or heating and cooling equipment. And before the heating and cooling equipment was capped at $1,500, if you go to advanced equipment, that bill says up to 3, 000, the whole $3,000 could be used for advanced HVAC equipment. Um, so there is, there is that sitting out there. <laughs> Uh, you know, there's a lot of legislation still ha that has to go through a very narrow funnel. I mean, you know, the, the Bush era tax um, cuts, there's a lot of things that the, the Congress will be considering when they come back together. And they may not be in a congenial um, mood. So, 